This is an aluminum flagpole. We put it up a couple years ago. And up on this hill, we get a ton of wind. And what happened was, was it basically sheared off. So this flagpole is under warranty and I could whine to the company and they'd send me out another one, but it'd probably just shear off again. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is I just wanted to show everybody uh, what I'm gonna do to reinforce this flagpole. So this is eighth inch pipe, about two inches in diameter. So what I'm gonna do is slip this steel galvanized pipe into that aluminum pipe. And you wanna be really careful with metals because different metals will react with each other. So this is galvanized pipe and the zinc will react with it, aluminum a little bit. Uh, maybe not as bad as stainless steel. You never wanna attach stainless steel to aluminum because it'll they'll just destroy each other or one of them will destroy the other one. I can't remember which one. But I think this is gonna be okay because this has multiple layers of paint on it. And I was actually thinking about maybe either repainting it or maybe putting grease all over it. You know, something that'll create some sort of barrier between the metals. But I think we're gonna be okay with just the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead with this. I have that steel pole inside of this aluminum flag pole. It goes up about a little bit more than halfway. But I'm mainly concerned about the connection going to the ground and possibly getting ripped off again. So I think this is gonna fix it. I'm going to use this fast sitting concrete mix to cement in this flag pole. This stuff's really nice because all you'll do is set your post or your flag pole or whatever you're going to put in the ground. You'll set it on the ground where you want it, or at least close to where you want it throw some water in the bottom of the hole. I think it says fill the hole about one third of the way with water. And then you'll throw this cement around it and it just hardens up. So there's no reason to mix it or anything. I've used this a lot on railings and fences and things like that that I've done in the past. So you notice that instead of filling up the whole one third of the way with water, I just threw a bucket in and that's because I'm only using, you know, one bag of concrete. So you can see the concrete's getting saturated and I just have the, even that one bag is holding this pole in place pretty well. I'm going to go mix up a couple of other bags of the normal kind of concrete because I only have one bag of this and then I'm going to get this thing set perfectly level and wait for it to harden. Whenever they sell you concrete. They give us amateurs, the instructions here on the back. And I really like these buckets. You can get them from Lowe's. It's a called measure right bucket, but they have the graduations on them. So when they tell you to use three and a half quarts, you can actually get a true three and a half quarts. So how I like mixing concrete is I have a cement tub that I just broke on a job last week. So I'm going to mix up my wheelbarrow, but what I use to mix concrete is just a hoe and all I'm going to do is just drag it back and forth one way and then back and forth the other way. And you just keep doing that until there's no more dry spots. Thank you. 
You can see I spilled a little bit of concrete around the edge, but you want to make sure that you don't get any dirt in your concrete. I have a little bit of debris here on the top. I'm not that worried about that, but I definitely don't want it anywhere in the middle. This is just a pole anyway. It's not a big deal, but if you were setting posts for a porch or something like that, you definitely don't want any dirt in your concrete. So when I leveled the pole, you'll notice that I went 90 degrees from each side. So I went and leveled up this side and then 90 degrees away on the other side. So you'll do that with a post or anything. When you are working with concrete, make sure you get all your tools and your wheelbarrow or whatever you're using. Wash out as much as possible unless you just plan on ditching it. Like the other week I broke that stupid mixing pan. So, you know, I just threw it away. Didn't care about cleaning that obviously. I purposely put the... I don't know what you look the cleat i guess you put it i put the cleat on the very back so as you're looking at the flagpole you don't see the rope i don't know if that matters to some people but i don't know i guess i'm kind of a stickler america Place so great even the people that hate it refuse to leave we appreciate you watching we'll see you next time